Hi Linda. 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 Hello Linda. Hi Linda. Hi Linda. Hi Linda. Hey Linda. Hi Linda. Hey Linda and welcome to Dear Mr. Dear Linda Day. How am I getting it wrong after that long? Day 82. I'm so excited because you're back today and today's the Dear Linda finale but Linda I love you and it's the last Miss Dear Linda ever which is kind of great, kind of bad, don't mind. Oh, sorry I'm excited now. Woo! Hope you liked that Jeff. What we're gonna start with as usual is let's find out what is the gas? So what's the gas? If what's the gas? What's the gas? What's the gas? What is the gas? What is the gas? Someone you know now has a girlfriend. No, sorry, that doesn't work. Someone you know was going to go to the cinema with this guy. Who I hear from sources that Rachel has had to report back to her mother to tell her where she's been. Someone at the party is secretly a man. And are the rumours true? No, I like men. It's your other gay one. Uh, so we might be hearing breakup news soon. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. That's gas. No. And there you have it. That is the goss over the last 82 days. I used to never like the goss. I'd be the last one to know if people broke up. And when I did find out, I wouldn't care too much. Not too into goss I wasn't. But I've become so into goss, I've become the first person people tell because they wanted to be on the internet. And I've learned two main things about goss. Number one, don't gossip. It's no good. It's no good at all. I want my opinions of people to be based on what they're like to me and how they treat me and not about their secret. Number two is that Natalie Brennan, she is through learning goss about everyone and hearing goss from everyone, that Natalie, she is just the most fair person in the world. She'll say, listen, that's a girl who makes people feel like crap. And therefore, not listen, this is a girl who people don't like, but she's done absolutely no harm to anyone. She is, Natalie is actually the most fair person in the entire world. I'm not saying that because I like Natalie, but I'm saying if you want to know about someone, don't go to the gosses, don't go to the people who hate them, the people who love them. Natalie Brennan knows what's going on. And next we'll go over to News of the Day. And what I've learned from News of the Day is that no matter how many tsunamis, tornadoes, wars are going on, there's nothing as good as a pageant for dogs. The little things are good. And now we'll go over to other news. Edward Grimes, the sexy one, the famous French cabinet maker, don't get Cheryl Cole wasn't around the last century, and found a four foot python inside. They're asking people to recycle their bras in October. He was dressed as a crab. The spider's web, and that's the big X he's done out of it. So the zoo gave him little slippers to wear. And the dinosaur in it will come to 3D. And so he got a bunch of pet mice. I mean, foxes attacking is too old. Julia, a shih tzu Japanese spitz cross, dressed in a native Filipino costume. I'm a bear. Okay, so now, what better to do than, you see, you see it coming by now, the best of the interviews. I have interviewed a lot of people. Some of them don't like being interviewed, some of them love being interviewed. What's going on? What's going on? So, I guess, over to you. Thank you, Evelyn. That's who I'll be interviewing today. Thank you, Evelyn, and I'm here with other Kate. Okay. Thank you, Evelyn. Here I am in Temple Bar, about to interview. Thank you, Evelyn. And today I'll be interviewing Darth Vader. So oh, shit. Why was she at the lesbian and gay? Why were you just <laughs> <laughs> So, have you any girls? I love Paris. Double. <laughs> Well, I sexual affairs? Sexual affairs? Sexual affairs. Um, Is there any like sexual affairs kind of like Wisteria Lane kind of thing? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, what would you like to say to her? But I don't know her. I actually want to meet her because she's a friend of Sing us a bit. Go confer, go confer. Thank you, and we're back, where I'm going to... Oh, Linda, I have to say, like, it's been absolute torture having to think them up, but it's also been probably definitely the most fun, if I look back on the whole thing, the music segments. So, now we'll go to a clip of some of my favourite music segments. <laughs>
Okay, so now we're back at my very last speaking part on Mr. Dear Linda. Now, that actually does get me emotional, just actually saying that, that this is the last time I'm staring into this lens and saying this stuff. And some people say I'm really nice for having doing these Dear Lindas, but you know, you can't have enjoyed them a tiny bit as much as I've loved making them. Making people happy to watch, making people hate me to watch, they've actually been loads of fun to. Thank you to the viewers and <laughs> thank you to the people who didn't complain so much. Oh, by the way, remember one of my first gosses where the person sent me a message saying, take that off. I saw her. It is true. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> on that note, I guess we'll go to the best of dear Linda. Bye, Linda. I mean, hello, you're coming back down. What am I like? Bye, Mr. Dear Linda. I will miss you. Love you. Good looking, bad tasting, tight fitting. What you see ain't what you are getting. Yeah.